Mamta Banerjee, on her part, is trying to clarify on the burn warning. Mamta Banerjee says BJP is trying to create anarchy, raising voice against lawlessness of the BJP. Never threatened protesting doctors. I never said that. Spoke against BJP, not the doctors. Mamta Banerjee, who's who gave out the burn warning: if Bengal burns, everybody burns. Mamta Banerjee now clarifying that this was a message directed to the BJP and not protesting doctors. Here's what she says. Kyaukyo mona korchen. Ita Bangladesh. Ami Bangladesh ke bhalo bashi. Or amader moto kotha bolle. Oder shongoshkiti amader shongoshkiti ek. Kintu mona rakben Bangladesh ekta alada rasto, Bharat borsho ekta alada rasto. Modi Babu, apnaar party ke diye agun laga chen. Mone lagben, Banglai jo diye agun lagan, Assam othe me thagbe na, North East othe me thagbe na, Uttar Pradesh othe me thagbe na, Bihar othe me thagbe na, Jharkhand othe me thagbe na, Orissa othe me thagbe na, aur Delhi othe me thagbe na. Apna chhata amra tolo mano kore dobo. Right, Rithik is with us on that. Rithik, tell us more on what Mamta Banerjee said when she said, "If Bengal burns, everyone burns," or you know, she's not going to spare those who attempt to burn Bengal. Now, the the message that was said was perceived to be to, directed towards those protesting students, doctors. Uh, and the opposition collectively, but Mamta Banerjee says it was only for the BJP. Give us more on how this has turned into a controversy. Well, definitely, uh, what we do understand her statement while she was addressing yesterday at uh, a political gathering over here in Kolkata, middle of the situation when the entire state and the city is burning. And uh, what we do see at it has triggered a lot of politics and uh, row between BJP and TMC now. We, you have uh, Mamta Banerjee's, uh, uh, you know, exposed this uh, 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 early morning and uh, where she clarifies her stand. And I quote, she stated that, let me most, uh, uh, you know, clar let me uh, clarify that, that I have not, uh, you know, uttered a single word against the medical, uh, etc., uh, student of their movement. I totally support their movement. Their movement is, uh, is genuine. I never threaten them. All, uh, as some people are accusing me of, of, of doing so, this allegation is completely false. I have spoken against BJP. I have spoken against uh, them because with the support of the government of India, they are threatening the democracy in our state and trying to create anarchy. So these are the comments clarifies Mamta Banerjee's and what we do understand since yesterday, there are a lot of uh, politics are happening. But yes, Mamta Banerjee's amazing situation when all opposition parties, be it uh, left BJP or Congress, you know, uh, simultaneously putting mountains more pressures, demanding resignations of Chief Minister. Now he, he has to fight this political battle very politically, she, which is, uh, remember, Mamta Banerjee is betterly known for his, uh, you know, aggressive way of politics, you know, dealing with BJP or Congress or Vampanthi. So the, these comments, uh, you know, you know, addressing, he came down heavily against Bhatti Janta Party. He even uh, uh, demanded that, that sh there should be a strong action and strong law. Uh, you know, uh, for to, uh, for uh, against rape. So these are things. Now she clarifies that it uh, down the line somehow. Uh, you know, to, it, some some you know narratives are also uh, coming that uh, she actually threatened the protesting doctor. So here she clarifies and said that uh, her address to the half men party men was not to. Uh, you know, to, to, to you know, disrespect the ongoing protests that are being held by the protesting doctors. She remained with them. Their cause is genuine. So it's a big boost. And let me tell you, uh, but Mamta Banerjee requested the protesting doctors uh, to stop the protests and to get back to the work. As the so Apex Court has already uh, requested uh, the protesting doctors. But what we, the pulse we are getting uh, uh, over here at Rajikar Medical College Hospital, they uh, decided to continue their protest. They decided to continue the cease work. Even uh, they have already decided to, there will be, you know, medical facilities, be it at uh, the OPDs or the emergency wards or at the entire uh, hospital, uh, the, you know, administrations or the, uh, the medical system.
there will be no hindrance for the patients those are right. arriving over here at Rithik, the state run hospital stay with us i'm going to quickly bring in the bjp's priyanka tebrewal joining us on the phone line for more on that priyanka uh, mamta banerjee says that there's a lot of misinformation and lawlessness unleashed by the bjp in the state and her uh, you will burn if bengal burns comment was directed towards the bjp itself uh, she's gone on to clarify yet again would you want to comment see mamata banerji is a failure in each and everything now she's failing to cover up also because she's not being able to cover up that well yesterday whatever was her intention her anti government or you say anti national motives were so very clear she clearly said that she will burn assam she named the state she said she'll burn uttar pradesh and all this was whatever was there it was heard by everyone now today she's trying to cover up all that not just that she she clearly mentioned that the court has asked the doctors to go back and then she said that if you don't go back then i will uh, take fi register fir against you now and today she's saying that that was for bjp karmis but not, there was nothing about bjp karyakarta which was said from the supreme court so she clearly meant the doctors and the medical staff now what is she trying to do today she she should think twice before speaking or uttering anything because the very next day she has to be sorry for uh, her statements you know we, we believe that uh, a bunch of people from civil society various walks of life are reaching out to the nhrc on the violence that we saw with uh, protesters and the bengal police it clashed in such a fashion that the civil society calls this a violation of basic rights definitely that we have all seen see on the in the protest during the protest the students they had asked all the people from the civil society to join them in the protest and now trinamool like you know uh, illiterate they are saying that why others went why only students were not there so trinamool is not going to decide that who will join them whether the civil society will join them or not we had seen an old man you know standing or he was on his roof he said when he mm. saw that people walking towards navanna he got uh, got down and he uh, was uh, urging for justice but people like trinamool and their netas who are busy covering up and who are busy protecting the accused they have no pain for and sympathy for the victim and her family so that is the reason they are trying to crub the voices but they will not be able to do so because the cry of justice is not just only in bengal but india wise the nation wide we are seeing that people are demanding justice priyanka finally what in your uh, in your view will bring justice to this family See, we all believe that the punishment should be so stringent that anybody for that matter would now 10 times think before any incident of rape occurs and see it is not just about bengal we are seeing in the news that in the last one week we have seen number of incidents of rape happening all across different states and my uh, thinking is the same what goes for bengal it's uh, relevant for other states as well that there should be stringent steps government should ensure the safety of women no matter whichever state it is all right priyanka uh, we are looking at uh, the bjp mounting pressure for mamta banerjee's resignation uh, how is it how are you going to be stepping up your protest further See, why bjp is asking for mamta banerjee's resignation it is not just that because uh, as a government she has failed it is because that mamata banerjee tried to be a complice in the matter she tried to cover up and she's continuing doing so what is the need to promote a principal who is uh, almost involved in this kind of a crime who is in question there is an investigation which is going on and he's being questioned what is the need to shift him to another uh, college and uh, appoint him as an osd so there are number of questions now we have seen on number of occasions no matter whichever ministry it was the number of ministers mlas who have gone to the jail for doing various crimes have always been supported by mamata banerji all right priyanka thanks very much for joining us on that